Hey venue friends, another quick tip from um, Shannon over here at Wedding Venue Map. Just want to give you some ideas of ways to constantly grow your business and up your game. We're going to talk real quick about email signatures. Your email signature to all of the leads and clients and even vendors that you're sending out can actually be a really strong marketing tool for your company. So there's a few basic things that should be included in your email signature. Name, title, company name, uh, best phone number to reach you at, and website should all be in the basic email signature. I mean, that's if it's just super basic and nothing else in there. But I want to help you up your game a little bit and personalize it. So it, when you make it personal, it should include a photo of you. It should not be the logo of the business. It really should be a photo of you. People want to know who they're doing business with, who they're talking to, who they're connecting with. So that's a really important thing. If you don't have professional headshots done, you let me know. I've got a lot of photographers that are always looking to partner with venues and we can work on helping get something scheduled or maybe I'll even throw a venue headshot party. But we want to make sure that you have that and you include a picture of yourself in the email signature. You should have something that says like connect with me with the social media icons that you're most active on. If you are a venue, you ideally are active on Facebook and um, Instagram. And if you do corporate business, you should be active on LinkedIn as well. Obviously there's things like Pinterest and YouTube and all that great stuff. But if you're not active and you're not using it, then don't include those in your email signature. Just include the ones that people can look to for updates and to kind of learn more um, about what you've been up to and other ways to connect with you. Um, if you have a promotional video for your venue that like shows all the spaces and talks about why people would want to get married there, you're welcome to include that. Um, if not, then consider adding some kind of call to action. There can be like a small banner. I know you've seen these, right? They have like the little rectangle box at the bottom of the email that's got a good like promotional you know, as to kind of what's new and what's going on. The types of things to include in that banner are maybe you're hosting an open house soon. You can put that in there. If you're going to be at any upcoming wedding shows or marketing type events, you can put that in there. If you have like a freebie for them to download, like, you know, you've created a like document with tips or things like that, that they can go to a website and put their email address and download it, then you can for sure do that. Like include that in there. Whatever your call to action is, you should really um, make sure you're updating it at least once a quarter, ideally once a month, because you want to stay it to stay fresh when you're sending people emails, right? Um, another tip is if you are not using online schedule booking for tours and appointments with engaged couples to come and see your venue or talk to you about your venue, it's probably time. So that's using websites like Acuity, it's spelled A-C-U-I-T-Y, Acuity Scheduling, or a website called Calendly, C-A-L-E-N-D dot L-Y. Um, and these are sites where you can people can do online appointment booking. I know it's scary. You lose a little bit of control. But if these systems are built, they're amazing. You can say what days, what times, when you want appointments, how long they take. It takes a little bit of work to set up. But once you set it up, you'll be super happy. If you're going to use this and create it, make sure to include it in your email signature. That's a link for people to book a tour. And we all know that as venues, sometimes vendors want to come out and book a time and book a tour also. So you can create an appointment type that's just for vendors who want to come out and connect. And you could limit the amount of time on it and only do those on certain days. So, um, so it's a great resource. But if you're going to use that resource, then make sure you include it in your email subject. I mean, in your email signature line. Um, a few random tips. You don't really have to put your email address in an email signature because obviously you just emailed them or you're replying back to them. But so if you need space, you can get rid of that. Make sure that it's mobile friendly, whatever you design and create, you can forward that email to yourself and see what it looks like. So make sure that looks really good and um, it reads well on a phone. And um, use basic design hierarchy. Your name should be a little bit bigger, you know, than anywhere you want people to click should be bolder and maybe in a color. Just make sure that you only like... You don't have like 7,000 colors in there. If the headshot of yourself, you're wearing like 10 different colors on, on your top, like think about, you just don't want it to be overwhelming at the bottom of your email. So you want it to be simple, elegant, clean, and look professional at the bottom of every email. There are amazing tools online. If you literally go onto Google and search 
free email signature generator. There's a lot of them on there. Most of them even explain to you how to input it and use it. So whether it's over on, if you use Outlook or Gmail or whatever you use, how you can use that. But hopefully you got some great ideas today on how to improve your email signature. And as always, let us know over here at Wedding Venue Map if there's anything that we can do to help.